Good morning friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday today and I have so much to share with you. I, for one, want to talk about some last minute Amazon gift ideas. I know a lot of you are looking forward to that and we are, like it's crunch time for ordering anything online. So I wanna do that. I also am going to be baking some peanut butter blossom cookies, which are my favorite to bake every single year. And then also, I guess first off, I am going to be heading out to do some Christmas shopping. So we have family Christmas this weekend with my extended family. And I talked about this in a couple of videos back, but we are doing a kind of a fun game where we each have to bring four to five gifts, $5 value or under to play this game with. And so I went down and counted how many we had. We need 24 for our family and I only have 14. So I need a lot more gifts before we leave in two days. Super foggy out this morning too, but we are supposed to be, I think we're in some sort of a warning tonight for snow and ice and rain. So that should be fun. So another reason to hurry up and get out while I can. I'm gonna try Target and hopefully I can find everything I need. I mean, can't we find everything here? had some luck, but I did not find 10 things, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. About you but my head at this point in the month is like Christmas mush like trying to keep track of everything has been super overwhelming this year balancing everything multitasking there's just so many different things going on between just activities practices gift exchanges like school activities where we need to provide supplies and food donations and angel trees and shopping for Christmas gifts it's like it's been a lot, but I think we're on the home stretch. I am pretty confident I'm done with my Christmas shopping outside of maybe like one or two smaller gifts. I still need to have the kids count gifts probably on Friday once I have a few more packages come just to make it make sure it's somewhat fair. But yeah, it's been it's been a lot this year. And I think next year I should probably write something down. But Anyways, for my family gift exchange this weekend, I shopped under, for a $5 and under budget. I'm shopping for, you know, five-year-olds on up to my grandmother's age, so quite the age range. So I try to find items that I know the kids will get excited about, but also something that adults might want as well. So just kind of a little bit of a combo. And I already gave you a sneak peek of some of the items, so these are just kind of the last few gifts that I'm going to add into that game or exchange or whatever how we're doing it so anyways i'll show you those items and then i'll get into a few of my random gift ideas that you could find on amazon that can still get to you in time for christmas i'll start with target so these combined were five dollars so i think i'm just going to use some twine and tie them together so you know that it's a gift that goes together but just the cute little spatula and i really actually like this plaid towel thought that was kind of fun. So I might actually have to try to win that. We'll see. But then I also picked up this sugar cookie bath bomb. All these would actually be kind of good stocking stuffers almost. I also grabbed this fidget cube. My kids love fidgets right now. This was $5. Kind of over by like the baseball cards and Pokemon cards. And I don't think they've ever seen this before. So going to add that in. They only had pink. And then I also grabbed this cute puppy mug, I couldn't resist it. I think any of my kids would love this, but you know, there might be some adults too. We have a lot of animal lovers in our family, so I just thought that was really fun. Menards is right next to our Target, and so I ran through there, hoping to find like some men's items, but I really didn't. But I did find these cases of root beer and this orange dream soda that were in my budget, and I think that any age will love these. I never buy glass bottles of soda like this, so 
Anyways, I grabbed two of those. And then I guess this was also from Menards, this giant canister of hot chocolate. I ran into Dollar General and I found this Yankee Candle car clip. So kind of a random one, but got that. And then I'm trying to remember, I can't remember where I got this banana today. That's not like me. That tells you where my head's at right now, but was it Menards? I don't remember. Where would I find a stretchy banana? Who knows? <laughs> but this is kind of a, I don't want to say gay gift, but I know that my kids will go after this. How random is that? But anyways, a random banana. And then I also stopped into Tractor Supply and just checked things out. Everything was pretty overpriced and not on sale, but these Band-Aids I just couldn't leave without because, you know, everyone needs bacon and eggs. Band-Aids, so that's the final gift that I picked. Now that I've shared with you eggs and bacon band-aids, I'm going to share with you a few random gifts on Amazon that would make great gifts. We're going super informal on these, by the way. I'm just going to walk around my house and share with you a few ideas. But this one is one that probably many people don't have. It is a panini press, and this one is by Hamilton Beach. We love this for toasting our sandwiches. We have a lot of cold sandwiches for lunches and this just kind of takes it to a whole new level. Now there's lots of things. It's kind of like an indoor grill that you could cook on it. I've seen burgers and chicken, but we really only use it for sandwiches. I do have an air fryer wrapped under our Christmas tree this year for a family member, but I wanted to share this one with you because we upgraded earlier this year to this one, the Instant Vortex Plus. Now we upgraded because we wanted one that was just a little bit larger for our family as far as what food you can fit in there. But this one, what is cool about it is you can do all sorts of different options with it. So you not only can air fry, but you can roast, broil, dehydrate, reheat, bake. We've tried so many different things in here, but we use this a lot for like chicken nuggets, french fries, a lot of freezer foods if you're looking for something quick and on the go. My husband's also reheated like ribs. Uh, oh my gosh, we've tried a lot of different things, but those are some of our favorites. I'm going in no particular order by the way, but some of you have actually reached out to me asking for recommendations as far as different rubs that my husband likes to use while he's smoking his foods on his smoker. He's a big Traeger fan and he's tried a lot of different things and rubs and recipes, but he has one go-to rub that is his all-time favorite that you can get off of Amazon. I believe it's under $15, so this would be a great stocking stuffer for any of those who love to use, be out on their grills or their smokers. But it is this Killer Hogs Barbecue Hot Barbecue Rub. This is by far his go-to and it's all slimy because he's been using it. So now my hands are all dirty. I also gifted someone this Christmas one of those Ember self-heating coffee mugs. Have you seen those? They're so cool, such a great idea, but they are a little bit pricey. I'll link the one that I purchased as a gift down below. I already wrapped it though, unfortunately, so I can't share it with you and I haven't tried it to let you know for sure. But I really wanted one for myself. However, I did not want to spend that kind of money. So I decided to go a different route and try to find just like something that would keep my coffee warm at my desk. And this is what I found, it's very dirty. I tried to wipe it, but you know. I use it every single day, but I just have this plugged in by my desk and set my cup of coffee on it and it keeps it warm for as long as you have it on. It's amazing. I love this. It's a really good, I would say stocking stuffer, but it also would be a fine gift. I would be very happy getting one of these, but perfect for someone who maybe works at home and loves to savor their coffee like I do. This next gift is something I purchased for myself and had no idea how much I needed this in my life but it's a portable cell phone charger. Now I purchased mine back over the summer when we went to Disney. My future sister-in-law, she told me, oh, you're gonna want one of those for sure. And so I ordered it, not thinking I would probably ever use it again. I was so wrong. So I just have this in my purse at all times now and just whenever I'm maybe not near an outlet or don't have time to sit while my phone charges, I will just have it like charging in my handbag or whatever the case might be. So a great gift idea or even a stocking stuffer for anyone who loves to travel or is super busy and doesn't have one of these already. 
I wanted to quickly mention the boot and mitten dryer. Now this thing has been amazing. We haven't had it too long, but I've been loving it so far. Perfect gift for a busy family or even an outdoorsman, someone who needs their gloves or mittens or boots, shoes dried super quickly. This one is by dry guy it is an investment but it's by far the best one we have ever owned i'm also gifting a tier tray this christmas to a family member i'm so excited but this is hands down my most favorite we all know i love tier trays and i think it's a great gift idea for someone who loves home decorating and also needs a quality tier tray in their life the prices on these are really good right now all colors actually and they do arrive before Christmas. So I have to mention my tear tray. It has been officially now a year since I bought my very first Cricut. And I bought this right before Christmas time. I was very intimidated by Cricut at that point. I had never done it before. I'm not a good crafter. Do not let me fool you. I am horrible at it. And so everything about it overwhelmed me. So I thought, you know what? Let's start small. And I'm so glad I did. I highly recommend anyone looking to get into Cricut products, start out with the Cricut Joy. They are just, they're really good size one. They don't take up a lot of space, but there's so many different things you can do with this little guy. I have a joy, you know, of many signs. So just printing vinyl, making cards. I make a lot of cards out of this, but we're also going into a part of the year where we like to home organize and label things. I've made labels around our house with this little machine. There's just so many different ways you can use this in your homes. And I, I can't say enough about my Cricut Joy. It's by far my little favorite machine that I own and would make a great gift. So let's talk kids items for just a little bit. I bought this book for Ethan. It's probably been a year ago because he specifically loves stickers. Now Ethan is five and so that kind of gives you an idea of the age range for this kind of a book but i think three four five six this would work for but it is a book of 1000 stickers i just checked this morning and the price is right around five dollars so very good price for one of these little activity books so we've had it for a year and we aren't even halfway through this book we take this to church every single sunday and he will just sit there and put his little stickers in but it ranges from abc's to uh, shapes to just different animals um, bugs there's so many different things in this book it's a very good sticker book if you're looking to keep someone busy on a trip or anything this would be the perfect size to also pop in as a stocking stuffer but let me just show you so it comes with stickers and they just have to stick them on the sheet that everything's numbered i do help ethan with it but he could also do this on his own as well but yeah we love this book and we do not go to church without it this next idea is a game that our kids have loved throughout the years we were gifted this i think it was gifted to madden but we all still really like playing it but it is called zingo bingo with a zing it's won many awards and i had never heard of it until i was gifted it so it's not a very common game i don't think but we highly recommend this around here it's a very fun way to do matching and play bingo at the same time but it comes with game cards and it's a disaster right now because the kids put it away but it's kind of like a race to match up these little chips to your bingo card and whoever does it first wins so we are competitive at all in this house but if you're looking for a fun game that many can enjoy we love zingo so we have a 10 year old girl it sounds weird to say 10 i can't believe she's 10. she's in gymnastics and she loves gymnastics and she loves reading and so we actually found her these books off of amazon i know these don't apply to many out there but just in case you have a daughter who's more into chapter books at this point right around that i think she started when she was well probably nine years old when she started reading these she loves these i think nine on up these would be a great book to get into i think there's like eight or so in the series at this point and there's like journals and coloring books too but anything by melissa torres she 
loves the perfect balance gymnastics. We have a whole bin of Picasso tiles. We love them so much. They are good for ages three and up, but they are like the Amazon, well, I wouldn't even say Amazon, but they're a little bit cheaper version than the Magna tiles that you will see in the stores. Hours of fun building with this. This is fun for all ages too. Amazon sells a really good starter set and then there's many of different ones that you can add on in the future. Our kids have been gifted many throughout the years, but they're just really fun. You can build all sorts of different things with them. I had a lot of more gift ideas to share with you, but there are some that just aren't available to ship and get to you before Christmas. So I'm not even going to talk about those, although I wanted to. But there is one gift that hasn't arrived yet, but I purchased it for our family that I'm actually really excited about. So it's the Echo Show 15. Now over the past year, we've gotten rid of our TV in our kitchen and we have just a small Echo Show 8, I think is what we have. So we're taking the big leap to the 15. The 15 is a lot bigger screen and it's going to, I hope just kind of combine the TV aspect and the small Echo Show that we have into one. But this new one is geared more towards family organization. You can see your family calendar, which is something I would love to get set up for us as we are running all sorts of different directions these days. But you can also watch Netflix, uh, listen to music. It plays your family photos. It just can constantly change to whatever you want it to be set on. It looks so neat and I'm so excited about it. I probably won't even wrap it. I'll just set it up right away because I'm pretty excited about it. So if you'd like to see me open that in one of my upcoming Vlogmas videos, let me know, but I think it's going to be pretty neat. The kids are all home from school now. Macy's jumping right into our peanut butter blossoms. I told her the hardest part is unwrapping all of the kisses. So we're gonna do that. She actually doesn't have gymnastics tonight, so that's exciting. Pretty much every day after school she has gymnastics, so it's a rare occasion to have her home. So I'm thinking maybe we should do some sort of like a family fun night just because we don't have any activities for a change. So probably like pizza and a movie or something like that. But first, we need to do some baking. Mm -hmm. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three pull them down to recharge and go back up very easily if I can do this with my left hand there we go it's going to get dark here very soon so I'll show you what it looks like when it gets a little bit darker out which is when I like to use them Was 
the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop But somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, from this Christmas on. Cookies are done. I just need to let them sit here while the Hershey Kiss hardens back up. We got everything all cleaned up. Feels good. And the rain has started. We are in a winter weather advisory. Now just south of us, there's tornado warnings and yeah, it's not looking good. Lots of ice and wind. I think they said 90 mile an hour wind. I think we're just supposed to get the wind and the ice and a little bit of snow. So we'll see what we wake up to. But yeah, everything is going to freeze and be so slippery. It's just the craziest thing to have a thunderstorm in December for us. Oh, why couldn't it be snow? It will be a little bit later. Oh. 